This video will cover automation, including a brief introduction to automation, macros, and stored procedures. A report is not the only result of a business analytics project. Typically, automation will often be a separate goal, especially when a data source is often updated with new records. The main benefit of automation is that it frees up the analyst's time to work on different problems. This is very valuable from a business perspective as analysts that are skilled in automating tasks can save the company money in terms of labor expenses, and over time can uncover more and more patterns in the data leading to greater profitability. There are two main types of automation used in business analytics, macros and stored procedures. Macros are also referred to as functions. The purpose of macros are to easily replicate certain steps without having to write out those steps individually. Macros can make an analysis quicker and more concise. For instance, with a certain data set, you may want to filter, sort, and then take the average of a field. If this set of steps will be used multiple times or for different data sets, you may want to transform these steps into a macro to save time. The parameters of a macro are the input. This can be data sets, fields, or values. The parameters are a component that will change with each call to a macro. After the steps of the macro are complete, the output will be returned, and like the parameters, can also be of different types. Macros are the foundation of many analytics and software packages, as many of the complex algorithms used in data science are mostly just the building of certain simpler functions. By utilizing macros that have already been built, an analyst can become more efficient. By building customized macros, an analyst can easily pass on their efforts to other analysts. Most companies with a data science team will build out a repository of customized macros called a code base. It makes it easier to manage certain tasks, such as committing changes and version control. These concepts are taken from computer science best practices of developing software. Another concept that comes from computer science is the use of object-oriented programming. This principle guides the development of macros and is based on the idea that the components of code should be compartmentalized. The main benefit of this technique is that it makes large projects easier to develop and maintain. Instead of an analyst having to replicate an analysis manually every time new data is captured, a stored procedure will execute. The stored procedure is a type of algorithm that runs according to a schedule and executes a series of steps that the analyst sets up in advance. Usually these steps will be in the form of code, but new software programs allow analysts to build stored procedures without having to write code. Once code has been productionalized, only monitoring the execution of the stored procedure is necessary. When the procedure completes with an error, the analyst will need to troubleshoot the code. The most common reason for errors to arise are due to unforeseen data values. That is, variables will contain value types that were not present in the original data set. For example, a numeric field will contain an alphabetic character. The best practice is to test for these values within the stored procedure and transform them, or remove records altogether and add a warning message. This will prevent the stored procedure from failing altogether. Logs are output from stored procedures to describe the processes that ran. Information that logs produce can vary, but usually include the amount of time each process took, the number of records that were input, and any error or warning messages that were triggered. Analysts should add code to stored procedures to make logs more descriptive, and thus easier to troubleshoot when problems arise. Depending on the tools being used and the amount of data being processed, productionalizing an algorithm can be either a simple task for one analyst or a multi-year project involving many analysts, project managers, database administrators, documentation writers, and quality assurance specialists. In these cases, management methodologies such as agile software development are used to coordinate team members and progress through the project lifecycle. This concludes our video on automation. Today we covered a brief introduction to automation, macros, and stored procedures. 